Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Amy's Crypt. I am currently in the cutest little town in Poland known as Wagów. And although this place is really beautiful and really peaceful, it does have one very haunted castle. Now this castle has been converted into a hotel. So of course we're gonna go spend the night there, but we have opted to spend the night in a very special room. We will be spending the night in the torture dungeon. All right guys, we are just on our way to the castle now, um, but I just wanted to stop and show you one of the two lakes here, which is uh, just behind me. It's just so nice here. Um, it wasn't easy for us to get here. We had to catch a train, hike uh, 10 kilometers, and then unintentionally uh, hitchhike here, but it was definitely well worth the travel because it's just beautiful. So you can actually just see the castle on the other side of the lake. So it's just over there. So we're gonna kind of cut around, whoa, cut around and uh, go find it now. guys so we have just made it to the hotel which is inside Wagorf Castle and it looks absolutely amazing we've just checked in and dropped all our bags off inside our torture room which is really really cool but we'll talk a little bit more about that later for now I want to show you around the castle I want to do some exploring uh, this place has some awesome ghost stories that also extend uh, throughout the town and the nearby lakes so we're gonna check all that out and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun We're just going to enter inside the castle walls, which look really awesome. This gate here. So just up here is the main tower, which you can actually climb up. I don't know how to get up there yet, but we are definitely gonna head up there soon. And there's some cool gated windows on this side you can see on the tower as well. Let's go drop down the other side. one side of the castle and you can see the beautiful lake behind me there's also I mean this wall down here as well which is the defensive wall around the castle and then on the other side of that it looks like there's another ruined structure so we might go and explore that area too that might be really cool so we're about to head into the castle around one side the castle also has a restaurant inside of it and a function space. So there's a lot of uh, weddings by the looks of it here. It's really beautiful and nicely presented inside. So we're just in one of the dining spaces so grand and beautifully decorated in here it's so nice like it's light fitting there is another dining room here that looks a bit more medieval themed and I prefer it just looks really really cool
standing right above it now just behind me here is the function area for weddings and it's really really pretty and we'll go explore that in just a minute <laughs> So the area I'm in is this kind of uh, long corridors that wrap around the central courtyard and it's really cool um, looking down into there. It's also where most of the hotel rooms sort of span, us, span off from, uh, but not ours. Ours is downstairs because it's a little dungeon. <laughs> There's some really sick armor and shields up here. It's a really cool decoration. So just behind me is the main dining and kind of function area and it's a really pretty space and it's awesome how they've got these plants just kind of draped over every single wall. It's really, really cool. So it sounds something really cool. Hey Jared. Alright, see ya. Get me out. <laughs> Amy, I do not want to break this, get it out. Alright, so we've just made it to the outside of the castle. We're gonna we think that this is the way up the tower looks like it. So we're going to go explore. So these are those barred off windows you can see from the bottom of the tower. So I've just found a really scary looking trap door. I don't know what it is or where it goes to. And it looks really deep. Can you see anything down there? I can't, it just looks really, I can't see the bottom. That is scary looking. Don't stand on it. Alright, we're gonna finish going up the final staircase to the top of the tower. Imagine this is a dungeon. It's got a nice view for a dungeon. <laughs> Check this out. You can see the whole lake. It's bigger than I thought it was. You keep telling me it's the last staircase and then there's more. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like surely that was the last one. What is this room though? Whatever room it is, it's not safe to stand on the bit in the middle. It does seem odd, doesn't it? Alright, let's make it to the top now. These don't feel very safe. Oh, that's the flagpole. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've made it to the top of the castle and it's really cool. We are literally at the highest point in Wagoff, so you can just see the whole town. It's an amazing view. It's a really cool tower as well. All right guys, I found a room in the tower, which is nice and quiet and a little bit creepy. So I feel like this is the perfect spot to tell some of Wagoff Castle's history and its ghost stories. All right guys, so obviously we are in Wagoff Castle and it is located in the small Polish town of Wagoff, which is pretty close to the Germany border. The castle itself is surrounded by two very pretty lakes and parts of the castle are very old. The first mention of this place was back in 1299, though parts of the castle have been remodeled and built onto in later centuries. So Wagoff Castle has had various owners during its lifetime. It's been besieged and taken over. Parts of it have been destroyed and then rebuilt. So it has uh, quite an uh, interesting history and it's really not surprising to me that this is listed as a haunted place. So this leads us into our first ghost story, which is one of lost love, and it's a little bit sad. So during the 15th century, a Polish knight actually claimed Wagoff Castle for his own. And at first the townspeople really liked him. He seemed like a really good guy, but after his wife died, he took a turn for the worst and became very bitter. Later on, his sister came to live with him here at the castle. Legend has it that during a battle, this Polish knight took an enemy prince prisoner and kept him here at Wagoff Castle in a very dark, depressing dungeon. This prince then took to singing just to kind of brighten his own mood and just keep himself entertained and sane. Now this prince actually had a really great singing voice and soon the townspeople kind of caught on to this and they would all gather around the castle just to hear him sing. It was almost like a performance for them. So pretty soon the Polish knight's sister heard this captured prince's beautiful singing voice and she felt compelled to bribe the guards of the dungeon just to meet him. The two really hit it off and pretty soon she was visiting on a regular basis and of course they fell in love. Sadly though, the Polish knight's sister was promised to another knight from a neighboring community and at their wedding day, the prince who was held prisoner was brought up to sing at their wedding and he was so angered by this he refused to sing which led to his execution so the prince was beheaded and his body was thrown into the neighboring lake this was all witnessed by the sister who loved him so dearly and legend has it that she immediately died of a broken heart even before her own marriage could be consummated since her death many people here in town have claimed to see her ghost She's commonly seen wandering the shores of the lake where her beloved prince was beheaded and his body thrown. She's also been seen all throughout town and particularly wandering the halls of the castle. The murdered prince is also said to haunt the area and his voice and singing can supposedly still be heard from the dungeon area. And don't forget guys, I'm spending the night in the dungeon torture room. So if you wanna see my paranormal investigation and overnight stay there, make sure to hit subscribe. My part two video should be out very soon. So I do have one more ghost story that particularly centers on the room that we are staying in tonight, which is the torture dungeon and supposedly the most haunted room in this castle. So this ghost is supposed to be of a former owner known as Commander Andreas von Schlieben and he was first spotted in the bedroom in 1820. He supposedly appears to males staying in that bedroom primarily in the summer and spring months. So I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping that Jared can get a glimpse of him tonight. How do you feel about that Jared? What? <laughs> So yeah, that's um, just a cool little ghost story about the room that we are staying in. There's a really cold breeze coming out of here. Wow, there really is. 
I don't remember it being this cold on the way up. Do you? No. That's interesting. It's it is freezing. Let's go walk through it. Oh, this staircase is so skinny. Maybe it's just all the brick. Yeah, it feels warm in here. Uh, right next to the castle, which is this side, then we have a beautiful church uh, on my other side. The lake is behind me. We're going to walk down there. Um, that is where the imprisoned prince was beheaded and where his body was thrown. So we're going to explore that area and just go check it out. So I don't know what's with this rock. I'm assuming it's a sculpture. It's like bits of the rock have fallen off and then they fall. Oh, we'll just reattach them. Give it some staples and just drill the other bit back on. But anyway, we are in the lakefront now. Castle is up here behind me and you can kind of see the fortified wall here, which was a defensive structure. Um, a little bit over this way is that kind of spooky looking ruin. Mm, not really sure what it is or even if it is a ruin, but I say we go have a closer look because it kind of looks like it goes under down, uh, underground and it's all uh, barred off. It's a bit spooky. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Oh, look how spooky it looks. Oh my god, it's freezing. Oh yeah, I can feel that cold draft coming out of there. Oh, this... Oh. Is this supposed to swing? Can you climb under? <laughs> I can't really see anything. Let me try and get my torch in my phone. What's in there? I can't see anything, really. It looks like an empty room full of trash. All right, so we're moving on from the creepy door because we cannot squeeze in there. Um, I'll look around this side. This one? Oh, okay. This little gated off windows that certainly look spooky. Put my torch on. You can't see anything down there, hey. Oh, it's so creepy. All right, let's keep walking around. It's almost like a stage area as well on top. Another window. Oh, Jared, you can fit in here. I don't think so. <laughs> Jared Cam. Jared Cam, my ass. Just standing on the edge of the lake on this uh, little jetty or pier depending on where you're from and this was where the prince that was kept prisoner was beheaded and his body was disposed of so the ghost of his uh, lover is supposed to be sighted along the banks of the lake up here as well so I think it's an interesting spot and it seems lovely and nice now 
but knowing that story is uh, very interesting and a little heartbreaking even and the castle is literally just up there where we're spending the night so we might even come out to explore a bit later in the dark so if you want to see that subscribe because it's coming in part two I really love it here. It's the lake is super nice. I get a very a total Camp Crystal Lake Friday the 13th vibe here as well. That's why I love it so much. <laughs> that is so deep. Which has just spiked in the magnetic crater. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. I would love to know your thoughts on this haunted castle and its ghost stories. If you are interested in watching my paranormal investigation and overnight stay in the most haunted room at this castle, which is also a torture dungeon, then hit subscribe. Part two will be dropping very soon on my channel. If you want to read any more information about this haunted location or any other haunted locations, head to Amy's Crypto. And remember guys, until next time, stay spooky.